Hello everyone. Welcome back to Unday Radar Talks. D-Wave Quantum Stock surged 48.7% on Friday. The stock's current price has deviated significantly upward from its five-day moving average, but it still seems to have not peaked. The stock's intraday bulls were strong on Friday, and the trading volume was significantly higher than in previous trading days, which means that the trading activity on that day was very high. The stock price did not show obvious signs of a retracement at the end of the trading day, and it still retained most of the day's gains at the close which means that the energy of the stock's bulls may not have been fully released. Data shows that the net capital inflow of the stock has gradually increased in the past four trading days, which means that as the stock price continues to rise, the funds flowing into the stock have gradually increased. Before Friday, the stock had a large number of positions distributed in the $2 to 88 cents area. But as the stock price continued to rise, the position volume in this area also decreased significantly, which means that some of the profitable capital may have exited the market on Friday. But this does not mean that the stock price is about to reverse. There are some positions in the $2 to $2.9 area, but the distribution pattern is relatively dispersed, and the position volume in the $2 to $2.6 area is more significant, which means that the chips sold on Friday may have been eaten up by long capital. I continue to be bullish on the stock. Although some profit-taking capital may have exited the market on Friday, there is still a lot of long capital in the market that has not exited the market, so the stock price still has reason to rise further. As for the target price, I think the stock may rise to around $4. Okay, guys, this is my price prediction for D-Wave Quantum Stock. Thank you for watching. If you like my analysis, please click the subscription button and give a thumbs up. I will bring you more latest price predictions for hot stocks later. See you in the next video.